मंडे इज थर्ड वीडियो फॉर यू विद न्यू स्टोरीज फ्रॉम इथियोपिया एंड नेबरिंग कंट्रीज फर्स्ट न्यू स्टोरी इज फ्रॉम सोमाली लैंड इन सोमाली लैंड पार्लीमेंट टुडे मेंबर्स ऑफ पार्लीमेंट एक्सचेंज नॉट व्यूज बट किक्स एंड ब्लोज वट हैपन देअर second new story is about uh, the list of most influential persons of 2022 times magazine of the us uh, just a few hours ago released a list of the most influential persons of 2022 pm abi's name is also included in this list pm abi of ethiopia which other african leaders are a part of this list a third new story is about uh, an other operation against oromo liberation army more than a month ago military campaign against ola was launched uh, in oromia now we have learned that second phase of this operation is about to be launched and lastly viewers we have some comparative figures for you of ethiopian currency ethiopian burs is sharply declining we have a comparative value of uh, ethiopian burr in 2020 and 2022 how much ethiopian burr has declined over the past 2 years uh, first new story is from somali land a self declared country somalia says that it's part of somalia but somali land is in quest of recognition from international community elections are held presidential elections in somalia uh, after 5 years i think and uh, at the end of this year in november presidential election will be held in somali land before that one issue has become a source of disagreement conflict and confrontation between the party in power and opposition parties party in power is led by musi bahi abdi uh, my land's president he is leading kulmiye political party opposition parties are wadani party justice and welfare party there is disagreement between ruling and opposition members of parliament about registration of new political parties in somali land we have seen exchange of hot words uh, some weeks ago between mps about this issue and once again today this issue was a source of uh, confrontation physical confrontation between opposition and government mps in somali lands parliament exchanged exchange of hot views exchange of uh, verbal uh arguments turned into exchange of blows and kicks uh some pictures are being shared that uh, some members of parliament were slightly injured but we're not showing anything uh just some pictures for you the pictures show how somali lands uh, members of parliament clashed inside somali lands parliament this is not the first time that we are seeing uh, fight inside my lands parliament what does it indicate it is said that my land is a better democracy in this uh, region well i have seen such uh, brawls such uh, fights in several other parliaments of the world it happens Uh, that perhaps shows my land's uh, journey towards democracy at least in the parliament mps can express themselves freely without any fear of repercussions uh, when they'll be outside the parliament so i do not see it as uh, sort of uh, 
serious uh, problem it is a sign that members of parliament are trying to uh, turn into mature politician yes there could be some better ways as well uh, they don't need to learn the hard way but it should not be seen as uh, an indication that's why lands democracy is deteriorating it's a journey towards democracy at least election is being held and in november election will be held and so far we have not seen serious uh, disagreements between the government and the opposition about next election like we saw in somalia where presidential election was delayed for more than a year there was serious confrontation uh, forces loyal to uh, ex president fromajo and hassan shekar and president uh, mohsen roble uh, they came close to starting a war but then things uh, settled down there. so uh, it means that's why land is trying to a move towards uh, democracy but uh, the members of parliament uh, should uh, try to uh, resolve their uh, disputes uh, in a peaceful manner because obviously internationally it does not paint a good picture of the democracy in smiland a uh, second new story is about the list of most influential persons in the world uh time magazine has shared this list the magazine uh, on yearly basis shares uh, the list of 100 most influential persons in the world this list has six categories and uh, the categories uh, six categories uh, they are uh, artists first category second innovators titans leaders icons pioneers so 100 persons are included in these six categories in leaders category there is ethiopian pm abi and 22 other leaders most of uh, these 22 are politicians heads of state some others as well uh joe biden is there uh, zelensky of ukraine putin of russia xi jinping of china from africa i have seen just two names firstly ethiopian pm abi secondly tanzania's uh, president samia suluhu hussein well uh, the inclusion of a person in this list does not mean that uh, he has done something good for the world the list includes those persons whose ideas whose actions sparked dialogue or dissent whose actions influenced the world influenced regions like uh, putin's attack on ukraine uh, has influenced the world uh, olaf scholz is also there german chancellor zelensky is there defending his country so uh, list inclusion of a person in this list does not mean that he is good or bad it just shows that his actions uh, led to regional and international uh consequences or you can say effects uh, pm abi's actions uh, tigray war uh, obviously its shock waves have been felt in the region in africa in other parts of the world as well ethiopians tigrayans protesting across the world uh, millions displaced thousands have died uh, and still though the progress is being made but still speed of progress is uh, slow so this tigray conflict uh, uh, has had uh, an effect on the region uh, on ethiopia as well country has been destabilized country has not become stronger after this conflict 
uh, and its effects have been seen in other African countries as well. So that is why I think his name is part of this list. It does not mean that uh, world is recognizing PMRB as someone who should be followed uh, and who should be role model for the world. Uh, a third new story is from Oromia viewers. Almost uh, a month ago, uh, government forces launched a military operation against Oromo Liberation Army. Back then, head of Oromia region security and uh, Oromia regional president Shimalis Abdisa said that uh, the operation would be completed in one month. But one month has passed and we have not seen any major gains. Though government is claiming. A few hours ago, I had a video showing uh, Romia region security head who said that uh, OLA had been neutralized. It, it was uh, no more a threat to national security of Ethiopia. But what we have learned uh, is that uh, regional government is planning an other phase of military operation against Oromo Liberation Army. First phase could not uh, be completed successfully. That is why the second phase is being launched. Uh, second phase will mostly involve local and regional forces. Regional means Oromia region's forces. Uh, and uh, people's help will be sought. Locals will be taken on board and OLA's hideout will be identified and they'll be uh, attacked. Uh, in coming days. Will this second phase of the operation succeed? That remains to be seen. But uh, what we have learned is that preparations are underway for another phase of this operation. It means that uh, no signs of any peaceful solution to this uh, ongoing conflict in Romeo. No signs of any engagement uh, between OLA and uh, Government, we heard rumors about dialogue in Uganda, but it could not be confirmed. Start of second phase indicates that either there was no engagement, uh, political engagement, or there was engagement, but it could not work. And that is why the second phase of operation against OLA is being launched. And lastly, viewers, we have a new story about Ethiopian currency, Ethiopian birth, which is sharply declining against uh, US dollar. Uh, in the last 12 months or so, Ethiopian birth has declined from 40 births equal to 1 US dollar to around 50 births equal to US dollar. So, in one year, around one year, 13, 40 months, you can say that the burr has declined by 25 percent. Uh, and the worrying thing is that uh, this decline is ongoing and government is constructing national palace. Uh, the cost of this construction would be 49 billion Ethiopian burrs. Uh, drought is another calamity which has hit Ethiopia. Heavily reliant on foreign aid, Ethiopian government is spending on useless uh, uh, projects uh, and its finance minister is visiting the uh, US, its meeting financial institutions for loans, grants and uh, uh, assistance, financial assistance from the institutions and other countries. Ethiopian government will have to change course viewers. This decline in the value of Ethiopian birth is extremely shocking uh, and uh, so far no recovery is being seen. No progress is being seen. Decline is ongoing. Thank you for watching.